Before you waste another $50 on AI video credits, let me tell you something nobody else will. Most of these tools are overhyped and just prey on creators' fear of missing out. I'm probably going to make some companies mad with this video, but girl, I do not care. You deserve to know which AI video generators are actually worth your money, and which ones are just pretty marketing campaigns. If you're tired of beautiful demos that never match your own real results, stay here because you found the exact video you've been needing. In the next 15 minutes, I'll expose the gap between what these companies show you in their polished promotional videos versus what actually happens when you try to create real content on your own. We will break down which tools are genuinely worth your credits, which ones are riding on hype alone, and I'll show you the one platform that gives you honest access to what actually works. By the end, you'll never fall for misleading AI video marketing again, and you'll know exactly where to invest your time and money for gorgeous results that actually match your creative vision. I tested Kling, Vio, Hyluo, Pixverse, and also the Cedence 1.0 model using identical prompts, identical scenarios, and identical expectations to see which ones deliver on their promises. What I'm about to tell you is very important if you're trying to create content that looks like it came from an actual film studio. If you're working on anything high-end like a short film, a cinematic advertisement, or a concept trailer, you need those professional camera movements, that gorgeous lighting, and that level of detail that makes people think you hired a full production crew. Without this level of quality, your content immediately screams budget AI project to your audience. And honestly, that's not the vibe me or you are going for. Google VO is the absolute queen of cinematic realism. And I'm not even exaggerating when I say the results look like they were shot by a professional film crew. Here's exactly how to get those gorgeous results with VO. By the way, I am using OpenArt to access all these models because it's super convenient, so I'll leave a link for you in the description in case you want to follow along. First, you're going to be incredibly specific with your prompts because VO actually understands filmmaking terms like lens sizes, camera angles, and movement types. For example, instead of saying, woman walking in a garden, you'd write something like, tracking shot following a young woman with flowing honey blonde hair in a soft pink sundress, walking through an enchanted garden, 18 millimeter lens, golden hour lighting, shallow depth of field. The more cinematically you describe your vision, the more VO delivers those dreamy professional results that make your content look absolutely stunning. I tested this with a woman in a vintage lace dress dancing through a field of lavender at sunset, and the attention to detail was honestly mind-blowing. The way the golden sunset light danced across the lavender field, the realistic flowing movement of her dress, and even the subtle camera shake makes it feel handheld. But here's the thing, VO is not built for speed or quick content creation. Renders can take significantly longer than other tools, and it's honestly not ideal if you're trying to pump out daily content or need something ready in the next hour. However, there's a hidden element that changes everything about creating believable digital characters that your audience actually connects with. Most AI video tools completely butcher character consistency and natural expressions. Here's my exact process for getting gorgeous character results with Kling. I always start with the Kling 2.1 model because it's the latest version, and handles character consistency way better than anything else. For character-focused content, I write prompts like, confident young woman with flowing auburn hair in a cozy cream sweater, sitting by a window with soft natural lighting, genuine smile, cinematic quality. The key is being specific about emotions and expressions, because Kling excels at those subtle facial movements that make characters feel real and relatable. I tested this with a sci-fi motorcycle chase scene, in the way Kling handled the realistic reflections on wet pavement, and all those tiny details like rain droplets reacting to light was absolutely incredible. Kling is perfect for TikTok content or YouTube channels, where you want a consistent digital character. But honestly, it's great for any content where believable human emotion is crucial. 
Sometimes you need gorgeous content right now without all the waiting around. Sometimes you're in that situation where you need a video immediately. Whether it's for a quick social media post, a client draft, or just testing an idea and you literally don't have time to wait around for slow rendering. This is where most high quality tools completely fail because they prioritize perfection over speed, leaving you stuck when you need results fast. Without an option that focuses on speed, you end up missing opportunities or settling for lower quality alternatives just to meet deadlines. Hilo AI is definitely built for speed, and I'm honestly obsessed with how fast it generates gorgeous videos while still maintaining that cinematic quality. Here's what makes Hilo incredible for quick content. You can literally go from prompt to finished video in under a minute, and the results are still sharp and professional looking. I tested this with a smooth ballerina scene, and within seconds, I had this beautiful polished video that looked like it took hours to create. For image to video, Hilo Live is specifically optimized for 2D artwork and illustrations, which is perfect if you're working with digital art or want that stylized animation look. The rendering time is honestly one of the fastest I've ever seen. It's usually around 30 seconds for a full 5 second video. Hilo isn't built for deep customization or frame by frame control, but if your priority is speed with solid quality, it absolutely delivers. It's perfect for creators who want to move fast, publish often, and don't want to get bogged down in complex settings or long wait times. The next thing I'm going to go over completely changes how you approach stylized content and creative expression. Most AI video tools are obsessed with photorealism, but sometimes you want something that's more artistic, more stylized, and honestly more creative than just trying to mimic real life. This matters so much because animated content, motion comics, explainer videos, and stylized intros require a completely different approach than realistic video generation. Without proper animation tools, you're stuck trying to force realistic generators to create stylized content, and the results always look off or inconsistent. Pixverse is the tool for animation lovers and stylized formats, and it's honestly incredible at following creative direction with exaggerated movement and strong visual identity. Here's why Pixverse is great for generating creative content. I tested this with a magical fox spirit running through a forest with floating lanterns, and the result looked like something straight out of an animated series. The unique feature that sets Pixverse apart is the start-to-end frame control. You can upload both a beginning frame and ending frame, and it creates a smooth transition between them. This is absolutely perfect for time lapses, storytelling sequences, or any content where you need precise control over how your scene evolves. I tested this by uploading a dawn forest scene as the start frame and a dusk scene as the end frame and the transition was absolutely gorgeous. Pixverse also offers different resolution options from Turbo, which is the fastest, to 1080p, which is the highest quality so you can balance speed versus quality based on your specific needs at the time. But there's one more element that completely changes the game when it comes to creating professional multi-shot sequences that actually tell a story. Most AI video tools can barely handle a single camera angle without looking awkward. But when you wanna create content that feels like an actual short film with multiple cuts, camera movements, and narrative flow, you need something way more advanced. This is important because if you're creating anything cinematic, like music videos, product commercials, or storytelling content, you need those smooth transitions between shots and perfect character consistency across multiple camera angles. Without this capability, you're stuck creating basic single-shot videos that never feel as polished or professional as what you see from real production studios. The Seadance 1.0 model is absolutely Absolutely incredible at multi-shot video generation, and I'm honestly blown away by how it can create complex sequences with multiple camera cuts all from a single prompt. Here's what makes Seadance 1.0 special for cinematic storytelling. It understands camera direction terms like cut to, zoom in, and tracking shot and actually executes them perfectly within the same video generation. For example, you could write, a girl in a flowing dress walks through a garden, cut to close up of her picking a flower, then zoom out to reveal the entire magical garden. I tested this with a prompt about a dancer performing in different angles, and Seadance delivered smooth transitions between a wide shot, 
close-up, and overhead view all in one seamless video. The character consistency across multiple shots is honestly insane. Unlike other tools where your character looks different in each cut, Seadance keeps everything perfectly consistent. Plus, the generation speed is incredibly fast. We're talking under two minutes for complex multi-shot sequences that would take other tools 10 plus minutes. So by now you've probably realized something that honestly frustrated me for months. There isn't one perfect tool for everything. There are multiple different tools that each absolutely nail their specific use case. But girl, the annoying thing that nobody talks about is the second you choose one tool, you're locked into that workflow until something better comes along. Let's say you subscribe to VO because it's currently the absolute best for cinematic content. But then, five days later, Kling releases a major update that suddenly outperforms VO in realistic character generation. Now you're stuck paying for yesterday's best model while the new trend is being hosted somewhere else. This is constantly happening in AI video, and unless you want to switch tools every week, learn five different interfaces, or pay for multiple subscriptions simultaneously, you're playing a game you'll lose every time. Without a unified solution, you end up with this chaotic workflow where you're constantly jumping between platforms, managing different logins, and trying to remember which tool does what best. And this is exactly what I discovered OpenArt was so great for. It brings all the top AI video generators into one gorgeous interface where everything just works together seamlessly. Instead of five different logins, five different interfaces, and five different ways to learn each model, everything runs from the same beautiful dashboard. You simply choose which AI video tool you want, whether it's VO for cinematic scenes, Kling for character-focused content, Hilo for quick turnaround, Pixverse for stylized animation, or Seadance for multi-shot sequences, and just drop in your prompt. I can literally start a video with VO for a cinematic opening, then switch to Kling for an expressive character moment, use Seadance for a complex multi-shot sequence, and finish with Pixverse for a stylized outro, all without leaving the platform or relearning anything. I can't tell you how much time and pain this has saved me, babe. But what's even more incredible is that when new AI models get released, OpenArt adds them immediately. So you don't have to request access, join waitlists, or hunt down Discord links. The latest updates are always there and you'll always be tapped in with the latest trends. They just appear in your dashboard, fully integrated and ready to use, often with tutorials showing you exactly how to get the best results. OpenArt makes sure you're always working with the most advanced AI video technology, without having to constantly relearn new platforms every few weeks. The best part is that they're not trying to lock you into one specific model or approach. They're giving you access to the best of everything, so you can focus on getting better at creating instead of getting better at managing your subscriptions. This is genuinely the workflow that changed my content creation process completely. Instead of burning through credits on multiple platforms, platforms, trying to remember which tool does what, and constantly switching between different interfaces, I now have everything I need in one place. If you want to stop wasting money on tools that don't deliver on their promises, want access to all the best AI video generators without the subscription chaos, and if you're honestly just tired of falling for misleading AI video generation apps, then you should do what I did and try out OpenArt. I've put the link in the description below, so when you sign up, you can use my code ISA20 and you'll get 20% off in your first month or year, which saves you money while also supporting this channel so I can keep making helpful videos like these for you. So go try it out and let me know in the comments which AI video generator becomes your new favorite for your specific content style. Make sure you subscribe and check out my last video about how to make viral ASMR videos if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.